So is Uber Suggest any good or is it complete dog shit? And how does it compare to the top tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush? And I'm going to be doing a complete walkthrough of Uber Suggest and all its features. So we're going to decide together if it's worth getting or not. Let's get to the video. All right. So first, let's start with the dashboard. This is the home screen for each individual client. The basic account, I think you can have up to seven. Uh, so I'm just going to use my website and it's new. Okay. So don't give me shit for that. Okay. I know there's all for traffic right now, but hey, we got to start somewhere. So I've been using Uber Suggest for probably close to a year now. And the reason that I got it was obviously the price. It's about two times less expensive than, you know, your SEMrush, your Ahrefs. I've used Moz. I've used everything. So have a bit of perspective into especially what I like. So first thing you're going to see is a bunch of SEO opportunities, which I do kind of like, and it gives me email notifications. You know, if there is like broken links, uh, you know, new backlinks and uh, SEO opportunities. So they're giving me one SEO issue, which is there is no XML sitemap. So I got to do that. Uh, another issue, one page is blocked. That's not a huge deal. And then they're giving me new content suggestions. Uh, and I'll also go over the AI writer for Uber Suggest uh, probably later in the video. The next screen down just gives you your traffic breakdown and your keyword rankings. So you're able to set up different keywords that you want to rank for. I'll show you that in the next portion. And you can bring this down to, you know, what happened in the last week. Uh, it's giving you your keyword rankings, how many, how much you've moved up in the keywords that you're targeting and how much you've moved down and then position. So I got a couple of top threes, uh, top 100. Again, guys, it's new. And then we got the backlinks and on page SEO. Uh, if you go into this, it gives it gives you a breakdown of the suggestions again. Uh, the same one. So we got four pages out h1 headings, you know, that's something I should do. Uh, one page blocked again. Uh, two things that we saw on the home screen. And then you got your load times. So I think it uses, I actually don't know what it uses. So I'm not going to even say, uh, probably that, uh, probably page speed insights, I'm assuming anyways. And then you also have your backlinks. Uh, sorry, I clicked on competitor tracking. So if you put, uh, some competitors in there, it shows you keyword gaps, uh, and then common keywords. So it'll show you you know, the keywords that they're ranking for that you can potentially uh, rank for. So the only thing is a lot of times uh, the keyword stats don't really coincide with your business, even though it's a competitor or, you know, a website that you want to aspire to be like. I don't know if I'd use that terminology, but anyways, you guys get the gist. Uh, so that's kind of, that's okay. That's good. Uh, and then the backlinks that you get, uh, it's, this is just a breakdown of your backlinks, uh, you know, first time they've been seen and so on. So, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. You can get that probably with some free tools. Just for reference, this is what the dashboard on SEMrush looks like. Uh, definitely a lot more, you know, the UI, the interface is probably nicer and there's a whole lot more information. Now, that being said, I don't know if a lot of this extra information adds value. Uh, but for some it might. So you have your authority score, which you have on Uber suggest, uh, your organic traffic numbers, organic keywords, you know, how much, how many have you gained and so on. I wish they would have this on Uber suggest how many keywords, uh, I think they do when I get email notifications, I have to double check. Uh, but it's Uber suggest mainly tracks the keywords that you've already input, you know, then you have your visibility, your, uh, you know, a site audit. This is just your site health, uh, toxic backlinks. If we keep scrolling, you can connect your uh, Google Analytics data. Then it shows you some top pages in Google Analytics. Uh, you can connect Google Search Console. <clears throat> then you have your organic keywords. So these are the keywords that you track and the volumes and the percentage of traffic, you know, just basic stuff. So I wouldn't say it's that much different. It's just a lot of the same data reinterpreted into different visuals, right? And this, you see this a lot. I mean, with one data set, you can give, you know, 40 different types of visuals. So that's nothing new. Now let's go back to Uber suggest. Next thing down is the rank tracking. 
which I like. I mean, obviously, this is a great thing for reference. Uh, it shows you all the keywords that you've input uh, that you're targeting, their coinciding search volumes, the SEO difficulty, and the, the change in your ranking for those terms. So yeah, there's a bunch of keywords here that I'm obviously targeting. And, you know, it tracks it, I can do a live update. Uh, but I'm just trying to kind of speed through this, you can check from the desktop and for mobile as well. So it's about the same, honestly, right 42. Yeah. So anyways, next thing down is the SEO opportunities, which I like as far as I've seen, SEMrush doesn't really have a good SEO opportunities section. And it tells it gives me actually somewhat accurate potential targets that coincide with what my business is. So that's that's a great start. Uh, search engine optimization for Edmonton and Calgary and Vancouver and Miami search engine optimization for lawyers. That's what I'm one I'm targeting right now. Uh, and you can keep loading them. There is a lot uh, right next to it. It'll show you uh, page one potential. There's a good chance you could rank well, because well, it's keyword difficulty is moderate. One thing that I did notice is the keyword difficulty is a lot higher, meaning more difficult on Uber suggest than any other platform. That's one thing I have noticed. Uh, obviously, lots of volume uh, and a target keyword. So this is I love this section. Uh, I have to say this is one of my favorite features of Uber suggest. Uh, so if you're into, you know, if your work is split between the content and the technical SEO, if you're more of it on the content side, this is awesome. Uh, my workspace, this is just a history of what I was searching, Chrome extension, not important. Uh, site audit is just more information from that home screen. Uh, so again, regurgitating onto other parts of this platform, then we'll go to keyword overview. Uh, I want to do I want to target SEO Miami. So you can plug in one keyword then it's going to show you the difficulty once you ref you can refresh it shows you uh, the cost per click and then it shows you some keyword ideas <clears throat> the only thing that i don't like again uber says doesn't do a good job of compiling keywords that are relevant for certain instances i think you need to put more keywords in there but like sephora miami 50 i don't know what that means miami 9 zoo uh that's no bueno for me, that's the one of the only gripes I have with this platform. Here you can input three different keywords. Uh, hopefully the more that I add this stupid thing will understand. All right, so let's refresh with some more keywords. Uh, maybe it'll do a better job of narrowing it down. And again, no, uh, well, we got San Diego, how to become an SEO expert. This is uh, yeah, this is the only thing that I don't like. Sometimes it doesn't really give good keyword recommendations. And that's why I honestly stick to the keyword planner for a lot of this stuff. Uh, next is keyword visualization also doesn't really do a great job. Let's go I say Florida. Yeah, I, I, I did this earlier. And the questions here, how often does Florida get snow? Yeah, not particularly relevant. Will Florida sink? Maybe I should write something about that. What do we have here volume. That's pretty difficult. Skip that. Uh, then we get keywords by traffic. So you can input any website into here and it will show you how many visits there are now. I also did find that the estimated visits wasn't as accurate. I mean, it's tough to get real time information, even with SEMrush, even with Ahrefs. Uh, your Google Analytics and Search Console will be the most accurate source of that truth. It's just about building up your website over months, years for it to have an actual accurate estimate of your visits. Uh, and then, you know, similar websites, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, it'll show you similar websites, but let's go to traffic estimation. Uh, kind of the same thing. Let's go and find SEO Miami. And let's just find somebody who I want to be like, we'll just take this one, <clears throat> type it in, and then you get similar websites. This is kind of good, but you, you kind of do have to filter these out because clutch is not a similar website. 
Uh, Thrive Agency possibly sounds like it. Um, Miami SEM, SEMrush is not a similar website. So you do have to filter these out. And once again, like I showed you in the beginning, it shows you your keyword gap. So how many website, how many keywords you have that are uh, relevant to this other website. I thought I went to traffic overview. Yeah, here we go. So you plug in that same website, you get a good idea of this website, domain authority with the backlinks, uh, organic monthly traffic, and this is give or take, probably give, give them plus 20% more is what I found. And then it shows you the keywords that they rank for. So this is a great opportunity. It's a great way to do competitor analysis and see everything that they're ranking for and potentially target some keywords like right here. Uh, looking at SEO difficulty, you got volume, you got the position keyword and when it was last updated, I actually like this one. I've noticed I've been doing SEO for a lot of cities as I'm trying to expand and the term expert, actually, you know what? I'm not going to give out any of my secrets. You got to pay for those. I'm just kidding. Um, but a great way to show what I'm about to do is I can add this to a keyword list. Uh, so I have a bunch of lists here for different clients. I'm going to add this to my own and I'll show you what that looks like at the end. And that's basically it. And then we got the backlinks, which we already looked at. Uh, let's, I'm going to show you, where is it? Keyword research. Then you have the keyword lists. That, that's what I was talking about. You can gather these lists of the keywords you like, and then, you know, kind of track them. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty much it. Uh, let's get into the labs portion of this. All right. So the final piece of this is the AI generated content. So uh, Uber suggest does have its own. And so does SEMrush. I'm not sure about Ahrefs. Haven't really looked at them for a while. Uh, so let's <clears throat> go to start. So it is pretty convenient uh, and we will test the output. So we'll say right for me. And it's going to take into the screen where, you know, you've just picked your target keyword. Now they're going to give you some title suggestions. So these are the titles. Let's just go through it. Unlocking and it's going to create an intro paragraph. It's going to give you three and you're going to choose from them. And then it's going to do the same thing with uh, the headings. All right. So, you know, I don't really, I'm not going to read too much into this. All right. Then we pick our headings pack. Again, give us three, and now it's going to generate an article. Let's see what we get. All right, so here's the final version of the blog, and whoops, what am I doing here? I'm going to copy this, and we're going to throw this through one of the most intense AI content detectors, and I guarantee you it's going to fail super badly. I can already tell you that. Verify I am human. And there you go. So basically the whole thing is robotic and is detected as robotic. Luckily I have some tools that can change robotic content into human written all uh, in GPT form. I'll leave those in the description if you'd like. Ask me about them if you got this far into the video and I'll include a link. So my final thoughts on Uber suggest, if I was to rate it, I would probably give it seven, seven and a half out of 10. It depends what you want from an SEO tool. Uh, you know, I don't think it measures up to a HREFs or SEMrush, but depending on what you need, there are great features. I love the suggestions tool. The, you know, it sends me notifications. It also gives me emails about, hey, search traffic for these keywords that you're ranking for uh, are up 20% this month, meaning the keywords you're targeting have a higher search volume in the month, you might want to go in and edit your content. So, you know, Neil Patel does a great job of getting at the roots of what SEO means and providing those suggestions. So that's one thing that I do like, you know, on the other hand, the one thing that I hate is that I can only plug in three keywords with SEMrush, you can plug in like a 100 keywords from like an Excel file, which is great. And then, it, you know, you can go from there. The other flaw is that, you know, when you input a keyword, it doesn't always give you keywords that coincide with what you want to write about or what you want to target. So that's definitely a drawback. Uh, at the end of the day, you're paying half the price that you are for SEMrush. If 
all you if you know it, there are enough features here so when i was starting my seo journey i was literally using uber suggest the free version and that's all i used i had no paid tools that's pretty much all i was using and i was getting really good results so really it doesn't matter about the tool it's just how you use it know what i mean anyways thanks everyone for sticking around please like comment subscribe let me know your thoughts i uh, hope you guys will follow me along until next time